Hey, what's up guys? This is Rob with Blame Rob Videos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Staff of Herding to unlock Whimsyshire, the secret level in Diablo 3. So what you see on the screen here is just a quick list of what you need to do and what you need to gather. Um, the rest of this is just uh, showing you video how to get the items one by one. It uh, looks like we're going to be showing you how to get the black mushroom right now. Uh, traveling to, I believe, um, I forget which waypoint this is. Oh, Cathedral Gardens. So you're going to Act 1, you're going to go to Cathedral Gardens. Uh, you're going to backtrack going through uh, Leoric's Passage and going back to uh, Cathedral Level 1. Uh, in order to get the items, I use my mage, or excuse me, my wizard. Uh, you can see the skills at the bottom that I used. I use a mix of teleportation and uh, the, the lightning armor that I'm using has a rune where if you get hit, it'll speed you up. So all of these things are designed to help you loot and find the items faster. Uh, you'll notice there that I just did a multi-cast teleport. I used the uh, wormhole rune. Uh, in order to do that, I found it very useful. In addition to that, I have a, the reduced cooldown passive. Um, and it looks like I found the bulk black mushrooms in uh, the cathedral. So I'm just oh, highlighting that for you there. Mushrooms. And lo and behold, there are the black mushrooms. Uh, just make sure you click on it and put it into your inventory. And that should be the end of that. Uh, next up is Leoric Shinbone. So we're still going to be going to Act 1. This time we're going to go into the Imprisoned Angel. You just want to click on 9 Imprisoned Angel and Begin Quest and then uh, start your game. So for this one, we're also going to backtrack a little bit. We're actually going to teleport to Leoric's Manor using the waypoint. And then instead of going forward, we're going to go backwards because we want to uh, go to that fireplace and check for the burnt logs. So I'm just going to speed up the video here. Uh, I cleared out all the enemies again, or excuse me, I cleared out all the enemies, so that's why there's no enemies here. Um, but anyway, this is where the fireplace is, and so if you look there, you'll uh, sometimes see the burnt logs. Uh, I highlight it there for you again. Uh, just go ahead and click on that, and you'll be able to loot Leoric Shinbone, which is the second item required in order to craft the uh, Staff of Herding for the, uh, to, in order to unlock the secret level. So the third item is Wurt's Leg, or excuse me, it's Wurt's Bell. This, that's a typo, I need to fix that. So Wurt's Bell is in Act 2. It's sold by a little girl merchant, I think her name is Squirt, and uh, you have access to buying it at any time. Uh, she'll always have it, she's always there. So you just head to Act 2, head to this uh, far left side of the market near the fountain, look for Squirt, and then look for Wurt's Bell. Um, it's 100k though, so I hope you've got money. Uh, maybe play that auction house a little bit. Buy low, sell high. Uh, the next item is the Liquid Rainbow. It's also in Act 2. This time you're going to teleport to the Oasis somewhere. Betrayer of the Haradrim. And you're going to go to uh, the Forgotten Runes. And this should get you to a good waypoint in order to find that item. Um... You need to use, I believe it's some sort of Oasis waypoint. Yeah, Path to the Oasis. That's where you want to go. So go to Path of the Oasis. And then once again, you see me using that teleport spell. Very helpful in time. speeding this process up, especially when you have to uh, do this multiple times because the items don't always spawn and the dungeons don't always spawn. But anyway, here, uh, if you are lucky enough to have the merchant spawn, you have to defend him against a couple ghosts. So just kill the ghosts and then talk to the merchant again. He'll open up that door, which will lead you into the mysterious cave. Uh, just go ahead and run in there. And don't forget to check that merchant. Sometimes he has a yellow. That might be appropriate for your level if you're still low level. Um, but after you've done that, you can enter the mysterious cave. And uh, the chest will always be in here. You just have to look everywhere for it. Uh, if you'll notice, I've sped up the video so we can get through this uh, dungeon clearing portion. And actually, um, you saw me there use the lightning wave type signature attack. So that I forget which uh, attack that is, but it's basically, I think it's the electrocute ability with the rune that makes it arc like that. The only reason I chose it is because it's uh, no arcane power, quick AOE wave spell that will kill everything in this area because I'm so high level, it's just normal difficulty. 
and I'm level 48. So anyway, you'll find the mysterious chest, and then you'll find the liquid rainbow inside of it. The fifth item you're looking for is the gibbering gemstone in Act 3. So you want to change your quest, you want to go to Act 3, you'll be going to Siege Breaker, number 6, and you just want to go to Destroy the Ballista, or Ballista, I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's um, Act 3, Siege Breaker, and you're going to want to use, I believe it's the, let's see, the Bridge of Corsic Waste Point is where you want to go. So just go there, and what you're looking for here are the Caverns of Frost, or the Caves of Frost. And if you see the icicle caves or the the ice caves, that means the frost caves aren't going to spawn because they they spawn in place of the frost caves. So you want the caverns of frost. And once you see the caverns of frost, you want to speed through the first level of it as fast as you can because you're only trying to get to level two. Level two is where you have a chance of obtaining the item. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. It looks like I ran into a dead end, um, but. In any case, I should find it fairly quickly. I sped this video up. I think it's coming up. This dungeon isn't too large, and with the teleportability and all, and being over leveled, it's really easy to get through this stuff. So uh, I think I'm coming up to it now. Yes. Yeah, I think this is it because I teleported. Yep, that's it. So you want to jump into level two. And so what you're looking for here is a unique purple mob. It doesn't always spawn. It has a chance to spawn. Uh, the mob is a, one of those cat-like creatures. It's in the ground. It's larger than uh, the other models. And um, I think its name is, I want to say it's Chalada. We'll see. It's in the video. It's in the screenshot. I think it's, I want to say it's Chalada, but that doesn't sound right. Let's see here. What's this dude's name? Chiltara. I was close. So you want to kill that uh, unique purple mob, and then it will always drop the gibbering gem gemstone. So go ahead and loot that. You don't want to forget that. It's uh, a white drop, so don't get it mixed up with everything else. Uh, the last item you're looking for is the plans for the Staff of Hurting. So this is done in Act 4. You want to go to the Prime Evil uh, quest, and you want to begin the quest. And then we're going to be killing Izul, which I believe is the third boss or the third mini boss of this act. So you want to take the waypoint to the Crystal Colonnade, and you just want to speed through this next portion, this next uh, uh, area, the uh, where yeah. gateway to the Silver Spire. So you just want to get through this as fast as you can. Uh, like I said, that's why I use the teleport and I'm sorry, the Silver Spire. You want to get through the Silver Spire level one as fast as possible. Um, I'm trying to use teleport here. Frost Nova is helpful. Diamond Skin is helpful. You see I have the Arcane Orbs as a shield, also very helpful. Um, I don't have to attack. I don't really have to stop and attack that much. And actually, when the enemies attack me, my Lightning Shield makes me move faster. So it actually helps a little bit. So I think I will be approaching it fairly soon. As you can see, you just skip the mobs. They're not very important once you get to that high level. Um, let's see, is there anything else worth noting? I ran this several times to try to get it. Actually, that's not entirely true. So actually what happened was I ran this only, I only had to run this maybe a couple times in order to get each item. I probably ran each attempt two or three times before I got the item, if not getting it on the first try. But then in order to provide a better quality video, I actually ran it again because some because I either forgot to record, and that's my fault, or I didn't get a good, uh, what I consider good footage. And so I did it again in order to, to, in order to provide you guys with better um, video footage. So here we are, we're killing Izul. Um, wow, he's actually, hurting me a little bit even though I'm super high level but in any case uh, he did drop the plan of plan staff of hurting so I will be looting that and it should appear in your inventory as that little brown book and at this point you can start heading uh, to back to act one we're going to be talking to that blacksmith in order to craft the item uh, please note that it does take an additional 50k in order to craft this item so it takes a total of 150k to get this item because you spend 100 for Wurt's Bell and then you spend 50 for um, in order to pay the blacksmith to craft the staff. So what you want to do here is you want to you have all the items in your inventory and then you want to talk to the blacksmith 
or the artisan, whatever his name is, and then you want to right click on your plans in order to teach him the plans. I don't have it in the video right now because I did it already, but basically you just want to do that in order to teach him the recipe, and then you go to the weapons tab, look under staff for staff of herding, and then click on the craft button and craft the item. Once you've done that, we're going to take you to the entrance to the secret cow level, or excuse me, the secret level Whimsyshire. Whim uh, it's over by a glowing red canyon uh, in Act 1. So what you want to do is you want to start in New Tristram. You want to exit to the right, just as I'm doing right now, exiting that eastern gate. And then you want to make your way north and hug the right-hand side wall. You want to scale that right-hand side wall because that's going to take you to the uh, Red Canyon. You could also teleport to the waypoint that's, I believe it's in, it's whatever the next waypoint is. I think it's uh, the cemetery or whatever. And you could backtrack, that's another way to get there. But either way is just fine. And so we're here, we're at the glowing Red Canyon, and if you've done everything correctly, the ghost of the Cow King should appear, and he will have a quest for you in order for you to access Wimmyshire. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything, you just have to talk to him, and then the dungeon will be available. And so, actually I found out later, you don't need to equip the staff, I just did it just in case. But as long as the staff is in your inventory, it should work. If not, maybe try equipping it, but it, it should work. I don't know why it wouldn't work. So just talk to the Cow King. I'm letting it run. I'm letting him run his dialogue so you can see it, but essentially this is all you do. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, access to Wimshire goes. I hope this was helpful. Uh, once again, this is Rob with Blame Rob Videos. Uh, I do a bunch of... I did a midnight release video. I... Uh, with some of my friends I did um, I'm doing I'm running through nightmare we're about to run through hell uh, all of the gameplay from start to finish is on my channel so I hope you guys check it out thanks for watching